Today, Hillary Clinton took her attacks on Donald Trump to a whole new level. For the first time, she called him a fraud for allegedly ripping off students at his Trump University. He denies doing that. A new poll out today shows Clinton's lead over Trump nationally is just four points. But remember, it's not the popular vote that wins. The presidential election is a state-by-state -state battle for 270 electoral votes. Here's Nancy Cordes. This is just more evidence that Donald Trump himself is a fraud. Newly released federal court documents gave Clinton all the ammunition she needed. You can't make this up. She quoted managers at the now defunct Trump University who said that the real estate school's business model was a total lie that preyed upon the elderly and uneducated. Trump and his employees took advantage of vulnerable Americans, encouraging them to max out their credit cards, empty their retirement savings, destroy their financial futures, all while making promises they knew were false from the beginning. Taking a page from Trump, Clinton kept up the assault online with a barrage of tweets calling Trump you a con that intentionally put people at risk. I'll win the Trump University case. I could but Trump's that. not the only candidate being scrutinized by federal authorities. Clinton's email server is the focus of a long-running FBI investigation. In a new national Quinnipiac poll, both candidates get low marks for honesty, though Trump does slightly better. I want to have an intervention. Speaking in Elkhart, Indiana today, President Obama went after Trump's plans to lower taxes for the wealthy. That will not bring jobs back. That is not fighting for the American middle class. That will not help us win. That is not going to make your lives better. That will help people like him. Trump is not the type to let an attack go unanswered, and this evening he has taken to Twitter, saying, quote, crooked Hillary Clinton is a fraud who has put the public and country at risk by her illegal and very stupid use of emails, many missing. In other words, Scott, I know you are, but what am I? Nancy Cordes reporting tonight. Nancy, thank you.